All right, peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any difficulty. Uh, today we are going to have two podcasts. This one is only just to answer Abdul from Germany. Uh, this Abdul, I'm not going to show his face in the video, uh, just for uh, uh, for his uh, for your benefit. Actually, I don't want to scare you. Uh, and this is why I don't share my face too, because I don't want to scare you. However. Uh, this Abdul, he make a video and he, I don't speak German, but people told me what he is saying. And he is saying, uh, he is, uh, he quote from my video, me calling Abdul a donkey. And he is saying, if this guy is a Christian, he will not say such a word. And he is saying a good believer, a good person, he will not use such a word. So I'm going to take his statement for granted. And I will use his words to prove that he and his prophet are donkeys. Because if he is not a donkey, he will not say what he said. Remember, the link is underneath of the video. It's in German. If you speak German, you can listen to it. It's one hour and 14 minutes just attacking me, attacking Brother Amir. But he obviously, he is a donkey who do not know what is written in his book and what is written in our book. I don't blame him for not knowing what is written in my book. But how you can be a Muslim, but yet you do not know what your prophet and what your Quran says about people who don't understand. He called them donkeys, specifically you idiot. Now, before we go and see uh, Islam, in the Bible, there is many verses speaking that a man who do not believe, a man who don't accept God, a man who don't, uh, etc., he is equal to a beast or an animal. And those are just little search in Google. You will see all those verses in the front of you. So when I said what I said, I am just speaking what my Lord said to me already about people like you Muslims who believe that God will give you endless penis. I mean, even donkeys will not believe in that. Who believe that God will give you a jellyfish woman, transparent, you can see through her bones, even pigs donkeys animals they will not believe in this and animals they believe in something in like acceptable like show a rabbit a carrot he believe in it you muslims believe in things which is it's beyond even acceptance of any any human have little brain and then you are telling me you are a donkey and now look you are accusing me not to be christian for using the word donkey when i am speaking to a muslim who try for two hours lying Keep repeating the same question and he will never answer and I call your prophet a coward I call him every day a man who sleep with child she is six years old is a coward a man who rip a woman two pieces when she is in the age of 84 85 by tying her legs between two camels is a coward a man who kill all those who surrender themselves the Jews 900 Jews surrender themselves to Muhammad after they surrender themselves he slaughtered them with cold blood as if he is killing sheep so don't tell me he is not a coward. He is a coward. When the war happened, your prophet hide between the legs of his wife. Now, we showed you tons of verses, as you see. I don't, I'm not going to read all of them in the front of you, which the Bible is describing people like you in the best description. Now, if we go to the Quran, he get upset because I use the word donkey. And by the way, he is accusing Brother Amir that he is a victim of mine because he promote my books. My friend, my books, my books, uh, uh, obviously they are driving you crazy. And, the, and the, funny, the funny thing he said, I will debate this guy if he sent me his books for free. And why I want to send you my books for free? I made a challenge. If you can find me something not a truthful in my book, huh? then I will send you my book for free. Call me, debate me, challenge me, prove it, and get that. You will get it immediately. But you will not get my book for free. I do not donate to Muslims. I prefer to give it to a Christian who is poor, who cannot read my book, or to a Muslim who is trying to find out the truth, not you. So my books is driving the Muslims crazy, especially the ones in, German, in Germany, because it's full of a truthful information. And the brother Amir is doing nothing except quoting to you what is written there. What about you? Call me and get me busted. And today I'm getting you busted for what you said. You said whoever say that 
donkey to someone he cannot be a true believer he cannot be a good person you said he is fake he cannot be a true person he cannot be a good person he is fake just for calling a muslim a donkey now let me show you your donkey that your god himself call people who don't accept islam donkeys how hypocrite are you if we go now we will find the following this is the quran <clears throat> Chapter 62 verse number five and remember you are the one who upset and calling anyone who uses such a word when he speak to someone who don't believe He must be a rude filthy disgusting donkey. He is the donkey not the one who said to him donkey This is your prophet you idiot. He said that in the Quran chapter 62 verse number five And this is the translation actually you know what let me show it first in English and then I'm going to show it in German This is in English the, the, read it, you know. He is a donkey which carry huge books in the top of him. <laughs> you accuse me to be fake for calling a Muslim donkey. Are you willing to cause, to accuse your prophet to be a donkey for calling people donkeys? And the funny, Muhammad calling people who carry donkey, carry books but don't understand it, donkeys but he himself he cannot read the books so who is the donkey here let us go to the german translation so whoever speak german will see what the verse says we go down here it says german please if you are from germany share my video share my page right now i mean the live video with your german friends i don't speak german i do not know what it says but it should say here somewhere that whoever etc etc he is he is a donkey who carry a lot of books in the top of him and he is an evil person so look at the hypocrisy of the muslims for calling a muslim a donkey and i have a million reason to do that i spend the three you go watch the the the, the video he's talking about how many hours i'm talking there and how how long i will have patience with the abdu and then before calling him a donkey and i can prove it that all of you are a bunch of donkeys for you accusing me to be false for using donkey but yet your quran using the exact word not only that if we go in the quran and we do little search just little search we will find your quran calling a human being all kind of names actually let us do it faster in the shara the wabi in the law assume a book um aladina layakulum the most evil animals for allah is those who they are deaf and mute and they don't understand okay what kind of god he call those who don't believe animals you just said this is evil and you just said whoever said that is fake he cannot be a good person christian prince he say he love muslim but yet he called them donkeys okay, we love muslim to you know i call you donkey to wake up a person who is taking drugs hashish huh and he think that god will make his penis endless what do you think he is in that moment he is a donkey a person who believed that God will give him a couch and a bracelet in his leg, and then he is going to give him 80,000 little boys who they are naked, what I will call them donkeys or something else. So how come all your books saying the same and you have no problem with it, but if a Christian prince, he says so, you are upset. I will tell you the truth. Because when you made this accusation against me, you were a donkey, now I am making you a mule after teaching you this you will become a mule because you never heard such a thing in the quran before and now you learn from me christian prince the one who is the author of all those books in the front of you is teaching you what is written in your book so yes you were a donkey by watching my videos or reading my books abdul in germany you are going to be up in the level you will you will be more educated at least about your religion so this is your God. He is saying the most evil ones, the most the, 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 the human being who don't believe in Allah, he is a dawab, 
I don't know what it says in German. I don't know how good the translation is, but in Arabic, it is Dawab. Dawab is animals. And we show you the other verse where it says literally the word donkey. If we go to the front verse in the Quran, it says, In the Ladina Kafarum in Ahl al Kitab will Mushrikin. Finari Jahannam Kharidin Fiha, Ula Eka Homo Shark will barrier. Let us see what does that mean. Chapter 98, verse number six. English translation first. Those who reject the truth, which means Islam supposedly, yeah, 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 the long penis is, 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 is Allah uh, truth. Among the people of the book and among etc. will be in hellfire and they are, they are the worst of the creatures. Should I call you the worst of the creature? What a creature mean? He don't even want to call us a human. He call us creatures and we are the worst. Do you know how many creatures there is in the earth? Mosquito is a creature, cockroach is a creature, rat is a creature. So you're God saying we are worse than rats and cockroaches. And that does not offend you? What if we go in the hadith and see what your prophet said, insulting people, calling people names? Let us see. The book of Faidul Qadir, by the way, this hadith is exist all over. And if you have my books, if you have my books, remember, uh, 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 in Amazon, you will find that if you get six and Allah, the last, uh, my last book, it's two volume, six and Allah, you will find all the filthy stories in Islam. Let us say maybe, uh, I cannot say all, but I mean the most important, because if I want to write all the filthy stories about Muhammad, and his dirty, filthy tongue, I will spend years writing books. In this hadith here, hadith number 697, but the book of Faidul Qadir, Muhammad, he said, إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ مَنْ يَتَعَزَّ بِعَزَائِ الْجَاهِرِيَّ فَأَعِدُّوهُ فَأَعِدُّوهُ What does that mean, فَأَعِدُّوهُ in Arabic is you say to someone, go and suck the clitoris of your mother or suck the penis of your father. Let us continue reading what he meant in this statement here. أي قولوا and he continued محمد saying أي قولوا له أعضد بذر أمك ولا تكنوا look at this filthy prophet if somebody is a proud about the old heritage of of before Islam just for that reason he did not do anything wrong say to him go and suck the vagina clitoris of your mother if somebody speak German, please translate in the in the in the chat so people will understand what I am saying in English. Additional to that, I was trying to find something in English about this hadith because you know uh, I know that most of you do not speak Arabic, and the Muslim will say to you, "Oh, he's lying. It doesn't say that." You know them, don't you? Always they will say you are lying, even if you are saying Muhammad is a good prophet. And it happened many times. I go and speak to Muslim. I say, Muhammad is a good prophet. All of them in the chat room, they say, liar, liar. You know, I was making fun of them. So it doesn't matter just to show everybody that they are going to say liar, whatever you say. Now, this is the hadith in the front of you. I searched in English written hadith about a similar hadith, but that one saying, go and, and, and bite the penis of your father. I look for it in the English translation in search.com. The coward, they did not translate the whole thing. Look what they say. This is the Muslim translation. All right. I saw a man with my father was consulting another man in the way of people used to cancel in the other, in the, in the other, in the Jahiriya. Jahiriya mean before Islam, but the fact, Jahiriya mean ignorant, right? But the fact that ignorance started for the Arab after Islam, not before. Before, before Islam, Arab are a lot more higher in quality. And look what happened to us now. My father said, with me father, bite him and would not use the, his kunya. What bite him? He doesn't say that. You see, how, you see how they lie in the translation? It did not say, what bite him? Your father is a dog. A Muslim, he did bite a man. For he is proud about or the cancer in the time of before Islam. Why you bite a man? It doesn't say that. In Arabic it says, Abi 
So my father, he said to him, go and suck the penis of your father. Suck it and bite it. If you read the rest of the translation, you will see how to change the holy translation. And again, they say the prophet said, I heard the prophet of Allah may bless him and grant him peace saying, saying what? Saying what exactly? Look what he said. If someone cancel people in the way, people cancel each other in the days of Jahiliyyah, which means the time of ignorance, then bite him and do not use Kunya. Kunya is the last name. Like what bite him? Do you really Muslim bite people if somebody says, I am proud about my inheritance? Do you? This is not what the meaning. It says, which means tell him, go and bite the penis of your father. And just to get you busted, Muslims, with your false translation, this is islamfatwa.com. Actually, it's Islam, Islam key A info, uh, uh, hadith number, or let us say fatwa number. Uh, let us see. Let's go back up. Okay, fatwa number one two one eight two three. Let me make the text big so everybody can see what we are reading. Sorry, I could not find it in German, but it, I think the English will be fine. If we go down here, the question: a Muslim, a Muslim asking, an atheist asked me, how could your messenger, peace upon him, speak obscene words when he is a prophet, such as? Tell him to bite his father male member. It doesn't say his father male member. Use the correct word. I don't want to use it, but you know what I'm talking about. And approve of Abu Bakr saying, suck the clitoris of a lat. This is other hadith I don't know about mention yet. All right. And the whole page here is defending the Prophet. The whole fatwa here is to defend the prophet. Why he said that? They did not deny he said that. They are defending falsely. Defend. I mean, what? What are, they say to you? He is saying that what he used to say at that time. What do you mean he used to say at that time? He's a prophet of Allah, saying to a man, "Go and bite the penis of your father." If you go down here, we will see the hadith. All right. <clears throat> Read with me carefully, and this is the reference. And the Muslim, they are not saying that this is weak. And by the way, the hadith I showed you here is found in many Islamic books. And this is another fatwa here, fatwa number 264154. The website is fatwa.islamweb.net. It says here that this is a sahih hadith. Wal hadith sahahahu ibn Hayyan wal alabani. And this is a Sahih Hadith according to Ibn Hayyan wal Alabani. So don't tell me it's weak. Don't tell me it's skinny. Don't tell me all of those stuff. It says here, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa which means with the, by the penis of his father. And you are upset because I said to a Muslim donkey, but yet you are not humiliated for having such a filthy tongue prophet. I never said to a Muslim, go and buy the penis of your father. I never said to a Muslim, go and suck the clitoris of your mother. I never said to a human being, go and suck the clitoris of a lad as Abu Bakr did. What's wrong with you Muslims? And there he sees. If you hear the messenger say, the messenger of Allah, peace and blessing be upon him, instructed us, instructed us. This is a teaching, this is the ethic of Islam. Instructed us. If you hear someone boasting in the ignorant manner of his tribal lineage, then tell him to bite his father penis. What may remember? And not, you know, uh, and, and do not use a metaphor, a metaphor. <laughs> Actually, it says uh, which means don't even mention his last name because he is proud about his last name, so don't even talk about it no more as a penalty. Look at this, look at this disgusting religion. And this is hadith repeated again and again. There's many reference. It was narrated from Ubay, etc. etc. That etc. If a man he boasted uh, uh, of his tribal lineage and Ubay 
told him to bite his father male member this is the same hadith is it is quoted here but as you see the translation it says he did bite him you see how they fabricate the translation where is the male? where is the penis word where the penis word is gone in the hadith here is gone in the translation because they are ashamed of their filthy prophet now abdul i want you to speak against me as much as you can in german in french in dutch i am the christian prince and none of you dare to debate me and this is why you coward and i will call you donkey because this is what your god said i challenge you to say that the one who calls someone donkey is a bad person for you god he say that and your prophet say that and i will be polite i will not say to you go and suck the clitoris of your mother or go and buy the penis of your father because i believe this is only the words of a faithy prophet like yours again if you like to read my books go to amazon.de if you are in germany or go to amazon.com or amazon.france and i advise you to buy from there i mean the, the amazon which in your country because mo mostly they give you free shipping thank you guys for listening be with us i will be again after almost an hour an hour i think i think i scheduled for a second one an hour from now be with us and please everybody download this video post it everywhere and tell this guy the link is underneath tell this guy who i accuse him to be a coward to call me and look at the coward even he make his comment disabled do you know why he make it disabled because he don't want anyone to comment for they cannot handle the truth that Muhammad is not the son of his father and he was born four years after his father death you cannot handle the truth that your God Allah he said those who don't understand they are donkeys and those and not only that actually I don't want to forget Allah he said that people are donkeys people are pigs people I mean all kind of names and Abdul he is offended by saying that we I say to a Muslim donkey well you are if you believe in such a garbage like the garbage of Muhammad I have respect to donkeys more they never hurt anyone they are very useful animals and they don't kill have you ever heard of a donkey committing suicide bombing have you ever heard of a donkey saying Allahu Akbar and jumping from somewhere inside the building and destroy the building have you ever heard of a donkey speaking in a temple of donkeys saying i will give you a long carrot if you kill another donkey they don't for donkeys are smarter i cannot believe it that abdul he is offended for using the word donkeys all those verses in the front of us is speaking about a human being Allah make them pigs and monkeys how you can be offended Abdul I don't understand how hell on be a combi shari mean that he came a thought on the law huh let me show you let me show you this verse just to show you the madness of those Muslims who they are upset from me for using the word don't care just last before I say goodbye okay shall I appoint out to you something much worse than this as judgment by the treatment it's received from Allah those he incurred incur the curse of Allah and his worth those whom some he transmitted into apes and the swine <laughs> <laughs> and the story here supposedly Allah he changed the Jews into pigs and monkeys just because they did fishing in Saturday hey Abdul I have a neighbor who is a Jew he fish in Saturday he dance in Saturday and he do all kind of crazy stuff in Saturday and Allah did not make him neither a pig or a monkey why is that because the Quran is a false book and not only that one more thing before I go just just for goodbye just for goodbye I mean what I can do I, I start talking about topic I say to myself I'll make a video five minutes it end to be five hours because ideas run into ideas if we go here and we search 
just to teach you something fast. Search for the word rats. Imagine Muhammad, he claimed that the Jews are rats. How he know that the Jews are rats? Because simply, rats and Jews don't drink camel milk. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Super intelligent prophet of Allah. Let me say, let me show you. Uh, where, where, where? Let me see. I'm trying to find the hadith. Here we go. Look at the super intelligent prophet. He noticed that rats don't drink she camel milk, and Jews don't drink she camel milk. Obviously, rats are Jews, and Jews are rats. How come you Muslims don't get offended by such a stupidity? Huh? The Prophet said a group of Israelists were lost. Nobody knows what they did, but I did not see them except that they were caused and they cha changed into rats. For it, if you put the milk of a she camel in the front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if the milk of a sheep put it in the front of it, it will drink it. <laughs> for sure, for sure, your Prophet is super smart. So now if I use your prophet method to find out who is who and who is not, your prophet found out that the Jews are rats because rats and the Jews don't drink she camel. All right, all right. Donkeys don't drink whiskey. Muslims don't drink whiskey. Can we say what your prophet say that Muslims are donkeys according to your prophet? The answer, yes. This is your prophet logic, not mine. Thank you very much for listening. Please download the video, share it everywhere. And again, if you want to get my books, which nobody can debunk, which nobody can debate me about, which nobody can prove me wrong, get it from Amazon. It's in many languages, in French, in German, in Arabic, and soon is going to be in the Malay language, which understood by the Indonesian people. May the Lord love you, bless you. And may the Lord help all the donkeys in the world. Maybe they will become horses one day. In China, they say, he left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. I hope that this is not your case, Abdul. I would like to see your horse, not a donkey. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And please download the video and share it. Thank you.